to Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. All right, peace and safety to the holy neck, all the Akim. We're gonna speak to the true Akim, scattered across the four corners. Yeah. All right, like the book of Isaiah say, scattered across the four corners. All right, pushing this uh, word, man, this word of the Lord. All right, it's sincerity and the truth, man. All right. So uh, yeah, man, we out here today, man. You know it's hot as hell. Yes, sir. All right, but we out here to bring out the Lord's word, man. That's right, bro. as usual, right. like clockwork. You know, I was telling the brothers before we come on the Lord's will, it's the last one. That's why we give y'all the beautiful backdrop. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Cause you, 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 you got that uh, that Yellowstone popping off. That's right. All right. You got fissures open up right now as we speak. That fire and that brimstone, you know. That's right. All right. Uh, start off with all that day. This is Daniel 12, verse 10. Yeah. Many shall be purified. Many shall be purified. Going back to what? Uh, the smell. The smell. All right. Because that's, who, that's who's going to purify the elect. The refiner. The refiner. All right. That gold smell. That copper too. That engraver. Go ahead up. And made white. And made white. And, 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 and to uh, what? Uh, vocab Malone ain't talking about Edomite. White. <laughs> All right? So we didn't hear it. Real. And try. And try. So purify and try. What? The furnace of this affliction we in. All right? Well, go ahead. But the wicked. The wicked. Shall do wickedly. The wicked shall do wickedly. And go ahead. And none of the wicked shall understand. None of the wicked shall understand. So all that going back and forth with uh, Malone, Come. all right? And that uh, wicked demon, whatever her name is, Cherry. Sister Cherry. Sister Cherry, whatever. G-Con, the uh, Hebrew Israelite. Yeah, man, <laughs> going back and forth with them, man. They not going to understand, man. That's right, bro. All right? They not going to understand. Get that, uh, that uh, hearing they hear. uh, 13 and 9. Come. Come. They not gonna understand. So all that uh debating back and forth, man, that man got an agenda, man. That's right. That man got an agenda, man. He getting intel, man. That's all he doing. All right. Come on, man. And the scriptures tell you, but read what you got. Matthew 13, verse 9. Yeah. Who have who have ears to hear? Let him hear. Not right. not not um okay I'm alone. He don't got ears to hear, man. Come on, bro. So ain't no need to be debating with this man. Go ahead. Come on. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Ain't talking about spiritual ears. Oh, oh, yeah. Matthew 13 and 9. Right. Who have ears to hear? Let him hear. And the disciples came and said unto him, Why speaketh thou unto them in parables? Why speaketh thou to them in parables? Because, hey, like you said, man, you got to have spiritual ears, man. All right? Spiritual ears. Go ahead. He answered and said unto them, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. And, and that's proof that this truth is given to you, man. It's not of your own will, man. All right? Who is given to you by Yahweh Shah, man? All right? Go ahead. But to them. But to them, talk about uh, 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 Ocab, all right? Uh, and a lot of these guys, that's uh, within the circumcision, man. All right? Ahead. It is not given. This is not given, man. That's right. So you don't need to be arguing going back and forth, man. All right, with uh okay Malone, man. That's right. Man. All right. Like I say, this man got an agenda, man. Absolutely. And it's not to uh it don't have nothing to do with the truth. If anything, it's to, to stop the truth, man. All right? Come. Get that uh Proverbs 25 and 9. Yeah, it's to stop the truth, man. Because this is what you're supposed to do right here. This is what the Lord tell you to do right here. Proverbs 23, verse 9. Speak not in the ears of a fool. Go ahead. For he would despise the wisdom of thy words. 25 and 9. Come. 25. Hey, that was a good one, though. Come. So the Lord commit that's a commandment. He said, speak not in the ears <laughs> of a fool. That was on point with it. That was on point. Oh that's the spirit. Because cause, uh, Vocab Malone is a damn fool, man. Come on, man. All right? But this is what we're supposed to do right here. Go ahead. Proverbs 25, verse 9. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. With the heathen. No. Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. See? With thy neighbor. And we all know who our neighbor is. Okay? Going back to the uh, uh, the scriptures. Our neighbor is our uh, brother, man. All right? Explain on this one. And discover not a secret to another. All right? Swing. Get that uh, Leviticus <laughs> 19, 18. 
go. You're gonna see who the neighbor is, cause you know in Christianity, everybody your neighbor. That's right, huh? All right? Ain't no enemies in Christianity. Yeah, ain't no enemies in Christianity. <laughs> All right, so the scriptures say, debate thy cause with your neighbor. All right, not with the heathens. Go ahead. Leviticus 19, verse 18. Read. Thou shalt not avenge, nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. The children of thy people. All right? And who's the children of thy people? The but, Israelites. Like, All right? Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. You should love your neighbor. Who is your neighbor? The children of thy people. That's right. Bro. All right? That's your neighbor. Commandment. I am the Lord. All right? Man. That's a commandment. He's decided, man. Yours truly, man. He said, you bait your cause with your neighbor, man. That's right, huh? All right? Not with these heathens. That's right, huh? Shalaki, if I can say, Yahweh Shah, he said, uh, my brethren is those who do the will of the, uh, do the will of the most far, uh, the most high. That's right. Come on, man. That's my uh, my mother, my brother, and my sister. And, and, and it's clear, Malone don't do that. Come on, brother. All right, that's clear. Tell you that you're not a Hebrew Israelite, man. You just why you even listen to me? Exactly. It just you look crazy out there debating that guy. Right. You're right. Nah, he right. Good, you look crazy out there debating this guy. You look crazy. He say debate got call with your neighbor, meaning your brother, man. Come on. All right, not with no goddamn heathen. All right. Uh, that's it on that. On it. Yeah, get that uh, revelation uh, 22. Come on. And uh, I believe in 11. Let's do it. Revelation 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. Hey, <laughs> let him be unjust still, man. All right? That's talking to uh, vocab, man. Come on. All right? And that woman, that woman he got with him. Let Come him be unjust still, man. Come on. You're not out here to uh, uh, debate uh, uh, whether uh, Edomites can be saved or not, man. Come on, man. All right? The scriptures already clearly state that Israel is who the Lord coming back to deliver. They always try to stand up for the white man. What about the Asian man? I don't never hear nobody stand up for the Asian man and get into the kingdom. Oh, oh, oh. It's always the yeah. so-called white man. Or oh, oh, them uh, the black man. power niggas. Right. They always want to put the Africans in there. Right. right. You know, the Hamites. The Hamites. And the scriptures clearly tell us to envy not our oppressor right. and choose none of his ways. Oh, man, we're going to get into all the ways that these guys choose uh, of the oppressor, man. That's right, the Egyptians. That's what your oppressors do. That's right, brother. You know? Come on, man. And choose none of his ways. So when you choose, like uh, like the brother said, this black power, yeah. uh, that you got Sarnetta and they had the uh, the awards, the Sarnetta awards, Sarnetta. you know? Great. All them guys debating. Right. Over vain, uh, it, it's just vain, man. It's vanity, man. That's right. Ain't no salvation in that. Then you got vocab alone on the other side, running up the camp, to, uh, trying to uh, uh, prove the fact that all nations can be saved. Why? Right. Because he's a heathen. That's right. Huh? All right. He's a heathen. Come on, man. All right. The Lord say, debate your cause with your brother, man. That's right. Huh? All right. Not with these heathens, man. That's right. When you uh, read the scriptures. You, you didn't see the Lord going around debating heathens, man. No, he ain't, he ain't debate Pontius Pilate, man. All right? He, he ain't debate him, huh? Nah. He ain't say nothing to him. He <laughs> wasn't debating no heathens, man. <laughs> he went at the Coliseum debate, huh? Exactly. He wasn't in front of no Coliseum. He Come was on. talking to the uh, uh, the lost sheep of the house of Israel. He was in the hood, so to speak. <laughs> he even clarified. He said, I'm not sent but to the lost sheep of the house know, of Israel, man. man. That's it, man. So anybody he went to, whether despite what they look like, they was the lost sheep. Hey man, Bethlehem was a hood, man. Gone. <laughs> Gone. Gone. Oh, uh, start at the top. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. See, that's a filthy doctrine, man. That is profane, man. That's right. Man. All right? It's profane. That's right, huh? So that's how you're supposed to treat Okay Malone when he come around, man. That's right, man. All right? His spirit was already tried, man. You got many brothers who already uh, uh, show this man through the scriptures. On, all right, all the other camps. Uh, going back to what? Uh, ISUPK. Right. They showed this man. All right, this man constantly want to come up against uh, the different camps. Why? Because he got a personal agenda, man. Right. He set up by the elite, man. All right, the brain confusion. All right, and that's why we don't supposed to debate him, man. We we debate each other. All right, we we'll debate our brother, man. A lot of you Christians, y'all pagans, y'all don't even know it. Y'all worshiping the spirit of Talmuds. And they're not even true Christians. They're not true Christians. They worship paganism. God. A lot of the Christianity and the Catholics, they worship paganism. Man. That's right. It's not the true Messiah. Man. That's why. Because they're heathen. Heathens, man. Y'all look at the Talmuds, man. Look at the spirit of Talmuds. That's what Christianity believes in. That's the doctrine. He loves everybody. He 
coming back for the whole world. Yeah. Right. That's the spirit of Tammuz. Right. Yeah. Come. 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 That's also Satanism, because that's that's that coexist doctrine. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's, that's Satanism. And, and, and what Satan mean? Adversary. Adversary. Anything uh. adverse to these scriptures, that's man, right, man. The Bible. Come. Any everything that's adverse to what the Bible say is considered Satanism. That's right. All right. So no matter what type of philosophy you in, that's right. All right. If you in Islam, like you got the brother Ben X. That's right. All right. That's Satanism. That's Satanism. That's right. If you uh, U.S. Thy Wilk Spirit, like what's going on in America today. That's right. All right. That's a that's Satanism. If you believe in Mars and other planets. Man. I was just gonna say that's a spirit, bro. That's a spirit, bro. That's God, Satanism. That was just on the tip of my tongue, man. man. That's good. I'm say, telling you. Hey, hey that's, that's right. right. That's Satanism, man. That's Satanism, man. Christ talked about that in Acts, man. Come on, I mean, bro. Paul, Not only that, in Jeremiah in, uh, chapter 31 and 37, it clearly states that we was, if anybody's able to measure the heavens or the earth beneath, that he would do away uh, with Israel. That's right. Uh, come, come on, man. That's, that's, that's a cut right there. But he related Babylon to the astrology, man. He did. And you, and you clearly see that astrology, that's that's uh, where you get all the, uh, the NASA from. Absolutely. Exactly. All right? He said the stargazers, man. That's what they are. All right? Prognosticators, come which the stargazers, uh, the stars can be uh, uh, referred to as planets. Absolutely. Okay? Absolutely. But uh, get Revelation 19, 19. Oh, good. Let's get it. Revelations. 19, verse 19. And I saw the beasts and the kings on the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him. See, the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war, all right? Get the uh, Revelation 16, 16. We're gonna see where they was gathered at. Revelation right? 16, verse 16. This is not referring to World War Three. okay? <laughs> Go ahead. And he gathered them together. And he gathered them together, the, the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies, where? Into a place. To a place, go ahead. Called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Armageddon, which we went through. It showed you that that's a uh, city north of Manasseh. That's right. In Israel. That's right. All right, called Megiddo, man. Come on, man. Okay. Where the Lord was crucified. Where the Lord was crucified at. All right, you can go back to the 1919 Revelation. Let's get it. All right, so that's where those armies going to be gathered at. All right. Revelations 19, verse 19. And I saw the beast and the kings on the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. And him that sat on the horse is Yahweh Shai. That's the white horse, right? Yeah, that's yeah. Yahweh Shai. Him that sat on the horse, it ain't Yahweh Shai himself, it's his people. All and, right? And ain't done the No, it's Yahweh Shai. It ain't Gagas Hey, I don't even know nothing about that. <laughs> what about Kaiser Wilhelm? Hey, hey, Kaiser Wilhelm. You have to go into Esau history to right. learn about that. Yeah, that ain't what the Bible. That ain't what the Bible talk about. That's right. You feel me? That's right. So it ain't referring to Donald Trump. Right. It ain't referring to uh, Genghis Khan. Come on. It ain't referring to uh, 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 what his name is. That's right. Constantine. Constantine. Come on. All right. That's right. That's right. It's not referring to uh, none of these uh, right. heathens, man. Cause you got a lot of doctrines about so-called white man. They, they push them type of energy on people. Man. Yeah, when you go, they say it's this guy in, in yeah. the white horses. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the brother was uh he was breaking down. I'm assuming he was trying to say that the uh I guess he was trying to break down the the, uh, the spherical Earth. Okay. And he was reading uh he was reading something about the earthquake. And then he stopped and said, "That's the missile." See? Oh, come on, brother. Yeah, that's what come they on, do. Bro. See? Come that's on. what they do. Get that uh Let's second get Peter's uh one. Come on, come on. Second Peter 1, verse 20. Yeah. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. And that's what that is. When you come across the word earthquake, come on. all right, and you replace it with nuclear missiles, <laughs> and that's a private it. interpretation. All right, come on, man. That's it's what it is. Horrible when it's that, man. You praise the woes with war. Come on, man. Man, that's and, great. And, and, and that's the uh, ways of the old person, man. That's right. That's doctrines of devil. That's right. When you go into Esau philosophy, that's what he teach. Absolutely. That's what Esau teach, uh, referring to the earthquakes. Come on, man. All right? He he, he called it the uh, missiles. That's right. All right? And that's, that's why right. we read that Daniel's 10 and, uh, I mean, that Daniel's 12 and 10. That's right. Huh? None of the wicked shall understand. They ain't that's right. Huh? Uh, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. But holy men of Yahweh spake 
as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So that's the doctrine. That's the doctrine we teach. You. That's right. All right. What was written aforetime. Done. All right. That's the doctrine we teach, you, man. The Lord has always used His people and elements, man. That's right. To take down the wicked, man. You can't show me not one time you ain't did it, man. I mean, we got to keep referring back to Sodom and Gomorrah, bro, and the five oh, yeah, cities like unto it. Yeah. Right. What did they use was nuclear fusion in play no. during that time? No, no it's a volcano. Come on, man. Elements. Yeah, back to that whole revelation. Okay. Uh, 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 19. 1919. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah. 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 Revelations 19 and 19. And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse. All right, so we showed you uh, from Revelation 16, 16. That's right. That's referring to that place. That's right. Called Armageddon. Uh -huh. All right? Megiddo. Megiddo. That's right. Uh -huh. In Israel, like the brother said, in that place where our Lord was crucified. That's what he was saying. All right? Yeah. Read on. And against his army, and the beast was taken. And with him, the false prophet, that wrote miracles before him. Mm -hmm. And those miracles, all right, that's witchcraft. That's sorcery. Come. All right, that's that's sorcery. Like we like what we mentioned yeah. uh, earlier, man. That's right, man. All right, the planet doctrine. That's right, man. All right, that's part of sorcery. I see beyond missiles. It's, it does, it's not real, man. Get that Isaiah uh, forty-seven about uh, twelve. Come. It's going to talk about the multitude of his sorcery. Come. Get that. Isaiah forty-seven and twelve. Yeah. It says, stand, stand now with thy enchantments. Yeah. And with the multitude of thy sorcery. See the multitude of, of the so-called white man rich crowd. Jump up and read one so we can see the okay. context who it's referring to. It says, come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Virgin daughter of Babylon. And we know Babylon is going back to the whole so-called white race, the Edomites. That's right. Huh? All right? They're going to sit in the dust. I mean, they're going to be brought low. That's right. All right? The nation of Edom. We know nation go back to people, race. That's right. Not a place like we taught in, 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 in this country. That's right. All right? That a nation mean a country, a place. Come on. No, nation mean people. That's right. All right? That's right. Huh? So this is referring to uh, Babylon, man. And Macedonians, they, they lineage go back to Amalek, man. It's, it, uh, what's it, uh, Alexander the Great? Mm -hmm. His forefather yeah. was Agog. Yeah. Agog was the king of the Amalekites, man. Come. That are do that. And he was Esau. Esau. The son of Esau. All right? That's or the in the Greek, I do In the Bible. Come. Come. It says, calm down and sit in the dust. That's the point. Uh, now jump back down to 12. Okay, come. Stand now with thy enchantments and with the multitude of thy sorceries, wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be oh, the multitude of the sorcerers. That's right, huh? The multitude of witchcraft. So the brother was going into about the planets, NASA. That's right, huh? That's witchcraft, man. That's witchcraft, huh? And you got guys amongst the uh, circumcision teaching that. That's right, huh? All right? These devils got a multitude of sorceries, man. Religion through religion. All right? But that's getting played out. Yeah. All right? A lot of people catching on to that fake uh, Christianity, man. Come. All right? That's right. But now they got NASA, man. They got this do as thy will spirit. They got this feminist movement. Uh, they got a multitude of sorceries, man. That's right, a man. multitude of witchcraft to deceive you, man. Go ahead. If should be, if so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Go back to the revelation. Uh, uh. I just want to show you in that scripture, man, referring to the so-called white man, the Edomites. All right, the Lord said they use witchcraft, man. All right, uh, 19 and 20. And the beast was taken, and with him, the false prophet, that wrote miracles before him. Mm -hmm. Witchcraft, go ahead. With which he deceived them. See, which he deceived them. We know now, so go back to the word deceived. That's what I'm saying. All right? So you people are being deceived, That's and right. we're going to show you the penalty That's of right. you falling for that witchcraft, That's all right. right, being deceived by the so-called white man, the Edomites. Go ahead. Come on. Deceived them that have received the mark of the beast. See? And them that worship his image. See, them that worship his image. And when you look up the word image, it will go back to the word resemble. All right? And a lot of your doctrines is simple the devil, man. A lot of it. Come on, your father, man. The devil. Uh -huh. and, uh, all, these two, all these people out here, man, all right, they follow the so-called white man. All of them. In one way or another. Come on. All right? In one way or another, man. You know what I'm saying? Without wicked these. These uh, wicked black women. Come on. That's Esau philosophy, feminism, man. Come on. 
That's right, huh? That's, that's, a, that's a philosophy, man. That's, that's one of his multitudes of uh, sorceries that he used to deceive them, all right, that worship the image of the beast. Go ahead. Corporations come. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. See, you gonna be cast alive, man, all right? In a lake of fire burning with brimstone. That's right. All right? And that's not referring to no damn nuclear missiles, man. Come on. All right? You guys gotta stop with that. That's not referring to no damn nuclear missiles. That's referring to the volcano. The Lord waking up all these elements across the planet. You still don't believe, man. God. When you guys gonna get it, man? The Lord ain't playing. Come on, man. He didn't close my army down now, man. The part they closed down. Them white people over there scared to death. They don't know what to do, man. <laughs> they started praying, Lord. They, they praying to the Lord. Now. Right, right for, before Israel, man. They you know, that's crazy. Israel. They coming now, huh? That's crazy. And so you brothers going to have to repent on that, man. Yeah, The God. Lord going to make you repent. But the scriptures say the elect not going to be deceived, bro. No, it ain't going to be deceived, man. I know it's the Lord doing it. I know who doing it. Come on. It says, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone, huh? Cast alive, burning. All right, a lake of fire burning with brimstone, like the brother said. You gonna get that over there in uh, over there that Yellowstone? Uh, uh, they done closed down the park, man. They done closed it down, man. All right, they predicting that this thing gonna blow, man, but they not uh, 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 telling that to you. Regular people, it's in the news. It's in the news. But these people not paying attention, no, man. They too busy following doctrines of their elders. All right, looking for missiles. Come on, bro. All right. The scientists are born people. They gotta leave Calif the whole uh, West, uh, West Coast, man. Mm. They gotta leave all California all the way up to Seattle, man. Come on. An earthquake gonna just knock them off the planet, man. Come on. Just gonna knock them out, man. Y'all guys, y'all brothers gotta be teaching this, man. Come on. Yeah, where we at? Oh, uh, that's uh, Revelation 19 and 20. Okay, get that uh, Ezekiel 11, and, uh, I mean 39 and 11. Come on. All right. Because the Lord ain't playing, man, all right? Like the brother said, it's about the elements, man. Come. There's nothing man-made that the Lord is gonna use. Uh, to, to to bring this uh this this coming destruction, man. That's right. All right, it's gonna be the elements. You see it going on in the news every day. All right, like the brother said, Yellowstone, man. They done shut down the park. All right, he gave you a couple of examples over there in Hawaii. Guatemala. But you people in Guatemala, you people ain't paying attention. They killed a thousand people in Guatemala. You still saying volcanoes gonna kill nobody? Come on, man. Hey man, it's, it's history, it's historical, uh, 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 archaeological uh, evidence that right. volcanoes done wiped out plenty of civilizations, man. The Grand Canyon, that was made and we by volcanoes. Read about. Man. Plenty of examples. Man, plenty of examples, man. Come on. And I ain't talking about in, 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 in Esau books. We talking about out of the, the Bible. Bible. That's man. right. We're going to show you it in the Bible. Read what you got. Ezekiel 39, verse 11. It shall come to pass in that day that I will give unto God a place there are graves in Israel. In well, In Israel. In Israel, and man. Uh -huh. All right? That's what Armageddon going to... Uh, uh, that's the place uh, in the Hebrew town called Armageddon, man. All these armies going to be gathered, man. That's right. All right? The beasts, the kings of the earth, and their armies, man. All right? Go ahead. The valley of the passengers on the east of the sea. And it shall stop the noses of the passengers. Why? Because they're going to be caucuses. Remember, get that... Uh, get that... Uh, Search, you need to be teaching that, man. You got to warn the people. You saw, you call yourself prophets, man. God. Come on, you call yourself prophets, man. And the word prophet means to say before. Come on. That's what it said. That's what it Come meant. on, man. Prophesy, brother. You guys should have warned the people in Guatemala, but you didn't. They were looking for missiles, Come man. Come on, bro. You had them people looking for missiles, man. Yeah, and back in 2000, you had them looking for the Lord coming, his return in, too. Right, right. You know Come what I'm saying? Brother. And by the scripture, 
scriptures alone tell you that if a, if a, if a man prophesied the name of the Lord and don't come to pass. What is he? Come on, bro. You're a false prophet. You're a false, false prophet, prophet, bro. You're a false prophet, right? Come on, Rob. The Lord told you what he gonna do if he didn't give you no vision. And you say he did. Ooh. Come on, man. Come on. Sling. See, I just read the Bible, man. I don't say, I, I ain't never talked to the Lord. The Lord ain't never gave me a vision. No. I just oh. read the Bible. Just read the Bible. That's what he said. <laughs> hey, that's what I ain't gonna lie on the Lord like that, man. I don't lie. You know, these people have dreams and visions of the Lord and stuff, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come out here and say something, man. Come on, brother. That's crazy, man. Oh, uh, you can go back to that, uh. Okay. Ezekiel. Okay, I got it though. It's in Matthew 24 and 28. Alright, let's get it. 24 verse 28. Yeah. For whosoever. And, and you can probably start at uh, 27. Let's do it. Down to 28. For as the lightning cometh out of the east. And that's that same place where that star in Revelation coming from. The east. Come on. And shineth even unto the west. Come on. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. You know? Verse 28. For whatsoever the carcasses is. Whatsoever the carcasses is. Uh-huh. Go ahead. There will the eagles be gathered together. Now remember that. All right. Wherever the carcasses is, there will the eagles be gathered. Now go back to Ezekiel 39. Uh -huh. All right. When it speaks about right? God. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in that day. Yeah. That I will give unto God a place there of graves okay. in Israel. Okay. In Israel. All right. Go ahead. And Israel is in the east. Come on. The valley of passengers. Come on. On the east of the sea. Read on. And it shall stop the noses of the passengers. Wherever the carcasses be, that's where the eagles going to be gathered. All right. Why it's going to be stopping their noses? Because you're going to have dead bodies, Bench man. Dead bodies. All right. Come on. Read on. And there shall thou bury God and all his multitude. All right. That's the beast. All right. The kings of the earth and all their armies. Because that's what the word God means. That's right. Multitude. That's right. That's what God means. And that's referring to that Revelation 19 when it talks about the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies. That's right. Go ahead. And they shall call it the valley of heaven God. The valley, the valley of heaven God, meaning the, uh, the uh, 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 multitude. Uh, damn, look at, can you look yeah, at that? Yeah, let me look at that word. Because Haman, Haman mean mountains, and God uh, go back to uh, multitude. One or the other. Let's let's look it up and make sure. Okay. Ezekiel 39 and 11. Yeah. Put that word up. I'm a God. I'm a God. H1996. Yeah. It says, uh, name of an emblematic place in Palestine. The multitude of God. Multitude. The multitude of God. That's what the Hama God means. Multitude. That's right. Alright. And what the God means? The God. The nation. Okay, the multitude of what? Nations. The nations. The nations, yeah. Ooh. Wow. All right, and that's the beast, the king. God, H1463. See what that means? It says an uncertain divination. God, the name of an Israelite, also of some northern nation. God. Meaning multitude of what he said, the kings nations. of the earth. That's right. It says in their yeah. armies. That's right. So okay. That's right. And they, that's a heathen nation too. Huh? Yeah, the Come. multitude of mountains. Then in the, all the kings of the earth. Like go back to the Revelation 19 that's right. and 19. That's right. And it's gonna explain it. That's right. Revelation 19 verse yeah. 19. Revelation 19 verse 19. Read. And I saw the beast, the beast, and the kings of the earth. See the kings of the earth. That's the mountains. All right. Go ahead. And their armies. And their armies gathered together to make war against him. Gathered together. Well, where the cock? He said, "Well, but so the carcasses be. That's where the, the ravenous birds gonna be. Yeah, All right. Together. That place yeah. in the Hebrew tongue, which is called Armageddon. Amen. All Lord, right. It's gonna be good that day, man. Go back to the um, uh, Ezekiel 39 and about 12. Come. Ezekiel 39 verse 12. Yeah. In seven months shall the house of Israel be bearing of them, that they may cleanse the land. See? Mm. All right. We're going to bury those dead bodies. Go ahead. 
Yea, the people of the land shall bury them. Go ahead. And I shall be to them a renowned, renowned the day that I shall be glorified. See, this is going to be a, a new day that we celebrate on. That's right. Huh? But the Lord, we're going to glorify the Lord in that day, just like now with the Passover. Come. Okay? They, 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 the Lord, we, that's a, a special day that we glorify. That's what? But coming out of captivity. That's all right? Lord say, renowned day. It's going to be a renowned day. Come on. Man. All right? Go ahead. Said the Lord your help. Read. And thou shalt serve, sever out men of continual employment. See, we're going to put some people to work. <laughs> all right? To do what? Passing through the land to bury with the pastures those that remain upon the face of the earth. To help us bury the dead bodies, man, of these mountains, this multitude of mountains, meaning the beasts, the kings of the earth, and their armies. Go ahead. To cleanse it. To what? To cleanse it. Read on. After the end of seven months shall they search. Yeah, come on. And the passengers that pass through the land, mm -hmm. when any seeth a man bone, yep. then shall he set upon a sign by it, till the burials have buried in it the valley of Hamagod. The valley of Hamagod, the multitude of mountains, the valley of the multitude of mountains, the heathens, the valley of the multitude of kings, that's right. all right, that's the, that got destroyed, all right, for trying to come up against the Lord's people. Come on. Shall I? Verse 16. Yeah. And also, the name of the city shall be Hamanah. Okay. That shall they cleanse the land. See, that's going to be the name of the city, man. The multitude of mountains, man. All right? That same place where those uh, carcasses are gathered. Oh, let's uh, read on. Okay. And thou son of man, thus said the Lord Yahweh, speak unto every feather fowl. That's what I want to speak to every feather fowl. Now, remember Yahweh Shah said, all right, well, the carcasses be, that where the eagles going to be gathered. Go ahead. And to every beast of the field. Why? Because the Lord already gave him that commandment. He said, speak to the beast of the field. Go ahead. Assemble yourselves. Assemble yourselves. And come. Yeah. Gather yourselves. Get, assemble yourselves and come and gather yourselves where? In the land of Israel. For what? On every side. Come on. To make sacrifice. Yeah. That I do sacrifice for you. Yeah. Even a great sacrifice. A great sacrifice. Come on. Upon the mountains of Israel. Upon the mountains of Israel. Come on. That ye may eat flesh. That he gonna eat the flesh. And drink blood. And drink blood. So that's what Yahweh Shah was referring to, man. All right. In uh, Matthew 24, 28. Come on, man. All right. He gave you a clue. That's right, huh? All right. In Armageddon, man. In Armageddon. Megiddo, on, man. man. It's right. more than just an event, man. That's a place, man. That's a place. Come on, man. All right. Uh, finish that, uh, Revelation 19 verse 20 yeah. And the beast was taken And with him the false prophet yeah. That wrote miracles before him yeah. With which he deceived them That had received the mark of the beast mm -hmm. And them that worship his image Hey them that worship his image man 